Uh, now, we are going to move on now to an all-time favourite, Thompson Cruises. And this one is all-inclusive, so that's all of your tips, all yeah. of your meals and all of your drinks. And you've got a three-night stay as well. But here's our wonderful Keith from our Friday show to tell you more. With its uniquely British product, small intimate ships, a great range of cruise and stay options, all tips included, an unrivaled number of regional airports you can fly from, plus a generous baggage allowance, it's little wonder that Thompson Cruises is turning heads. They boast one of the highest levels of repeat passengers in the industry, and after six years working for them, I can tell you why. They are without doubt the friendliest ships afloat. Some friends of mine who cruise a lot always pack two sizes of clothing. One for the start of the cruise, thank you, and one for the end. And once you've tasted the food on board, you'll understand why. It's international cuisine with a British twist. And with open sitting as standard, you won't need to rush trying to keep to the ship schedule. You can set the pace and enjoy up to seven meals a day. Trust me, it's possible. Whether it's a freshly pulled pint in a nightclub or sipping a cocktail of a day poolside, each of the bars on board Thompson Ships enjoys a unique and special personality. With honest low prices, juggling waiters and service with a smile, you're never more than two minutes walk away from a refreshing aperitif. The Thompson Cruises has some of the best entertainment afloat. In a two-week cruise, you'll see no fewer than ten full production shows and some great comedy from award-winning UK guest artists. Add to that fantastic interactive game shows, cabarets and all singing or dancing deck parties and you really won't want to go back to your cabin. There is lots and lots of choice with the accommodation on board Thompson ships. From insides through to stunning suites. All are en suite, offer 24 hour room service and two turn downs a day. The only surprise you're going to encounter is what your hand towel will be transformed into when you return every night. My favourite is always the monkey with the sunglasses. Fun with Thompson, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. They're really well known for that, yeah. actually. And but great standards, great food, great service. And it's all included, don't forget, as well. Even your drinks as well. So, where are we going to, Gemma? Okay, so we are flying from the UK to Parma in Mallorca, Lovely. which is beautiful. And you're going to embark the ship for seven nights cruising, but you are coming back to Parma at the end. So, day two will be at sea. And then day three, we are sailing to beautiful Calvi in Corsica. So again, you know, you should get some beautiful weather here. Really stunning. And then on day four, you are sailing to one of my favourite places in the world, which is Rome. So you'll, you'll sail into the port, which is called Civita Vecchia. And it's um, very near the city of Rome, where the... The possibilities are endless. I mean, you'll recognise some of these places. The Trevi Fountain, go throw a coin in. It's very lucky. It's what Audrey Hepburn did in the film. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. And then, of course, you've got... Um, I actually don't, where is that? That looks beautiful. The Villa d'Este. Oh, so that's a stunning old villa. I've actually not oh, been there. That yeah, looks gorgeous. There. You've got the Colosseum, which well, is an absolute <laughs> must. There are very many we, times. We recognise that one, Gemma, Yeah, we? recognise <laughs> that one. Well done. I mean, you've got the gladiators outside, and also you can get a really good tour guide there as well, who take you around and bring it to life and talk about all the things that used to happen. I, I was. I knew it would be big, but I was amazed at the scale. It's of the my of imagination went absolutely yeah. mad there. You do really when you get a good guide as well. You get all the excitement of what it used to be like. Anyway, um, you. You must go to St Peter's, of course, is beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and go and have a look at the Sistine Chapel where Michelangelo painted the ceiling, of course. There's so much, you will not run out of things to do. And then on day five, you've got another stunning Italian city uh, uh, because you're sailing into Livorno, so you can go to Florence or Pisa. Um, uh, it, what, a, what a decision to make. Florence is unbelievable. It is like something out of a film. And if you like sort of art and museums and culture, I would say head for Florence. But Pisa's great as well. Um, of course, in Pisa, you've got the famous uh, Leaning Tower. Um, which, if you haven't seen before, I mean, it's I, just yeah. hilarious. It, it is, and I had to do it. Yeah, you've got to do it. You've got to get the classic picture where you stand in front and look like you're pushing it. Yeah. Everybody does that. Um, and then the thing is about being in Italy as well, wherever you go, if you stop for a little coffee or an ice cream, it's just all really, really nice. Great food, although you will be eating a lot on the ship as well, with the great food on the ship. 
So that is Livorno, and then on day six you're going to sail to San Rafael in France. This is a really nice itinerary, by the way. So this is along the famous stretch of coastline known as the French Riviera on the Côte d'Azur. So look at that scenery. Like I say, every port with this one is a winner. It's going to be so popular, I think. Uh, including the next one, of course, yes. which is Barcelona. Barcelona, yes, another must-see city if you've never been. You know, so amazing because you've got the beach and all the beach life, but it's a big beautiful city as well I mean you've got the very famous La Sagrada Familia which is the huge cathedral you can see there with the Gaudi architecture that kind of looms over the city a real must-see um, and take your cameras as well but also if you were interested you could go and see the Olympic Stadium I think we've got a picture of that there you go Camp Nou as well if you love your football um, of course there'd be lots of probably Barcelona fans as well um, so so much to do and see Picasso Museum as well but you might just want to go and stroll along the promenade as well yes. and you know get a bit of the beat get a bit of sand so between your toes great, absolutely um then you sail to palma which i absolutely love in mallorca and at this point you're going to disembark from the ship and you're going to transfer from the port to a 40 hotel for three nights how nice is that on an all-inclusive basis so um Let's How wonderful is that? Yeah, let's have a little look. Yeah, let's have a look. And the thing is, many of you might have been to New Yorker before. Palma, the capital, is absolutely stunning. And as, again, if you're not necessarily just someone who likes to just lie on the beach, although if you do, you will not be disappointed. But if you like, you know, having a stroll around, doing a bit of sightseeing, there's so much wonderful architecture, beautiful grand churches, yacht harbours, beaches, fountains, old castles. You know, you are there for a three-night stay, so you can really mix it up a little bit. There's lots of places which are just for pedestrians as well, so that nice kind of strolling, bit of shopping at the end of the holiday and all that kind of thing. Um, maybe go and visit the cathedral, because that's really beautiful and then on day 11 you will transfer from your hotel to the airport and you will fly back to the um, UK just while we're looking at the, the footage of Palma don't forget your hotel is all-inclusive your cruise has been all-inclusive yes. so that's all of your tips your gratuities everything so you know the price that you're paying right now 929 yeah that is all you'll be paying for this and all you need to do today is find your deposit of £200 per person. That's really important because Fantastic. these always sell really quickly, uh, Well, at the, Again, at this time of year, it might be that you don't want to shell out all of it right now. A low deposit like that straight yeah, after yeah. Christmas. Get your holiday booked at this fantastic low price, but with a really small deposit. And, and so you won't be paying for you know, anything. It's oh, I know, included. and I think that's why Thompson are really popular as well, because they are really fun, great service, you know, really high standard, but you don't have to put your hand in your and, pocket. And they do get great reviews, you know, looking at the reviews on their service, their food, their entertainment is outstanding, yeah. it really is. Yeah, um, and they get a lot of return customers, don't they? they? Do. So, if you want to go for this, well, one of my best friends actually cruised with Thompson last year and couldn't praise them highly enough, I remember... Just a deposit tonight. It's all inclusive. The whole 10 days is all inclusive. And uh, the price there is £929. So we took flights. Now, these um, can be from Bournemouth, Luton, and Stansted. That does depend on departure date. But we can find new flights from most UK airports. We'll show those in a second. You've got three nights in that inclusive uh, hotel there. All of your tips and gratuities are included as well. And those are the um, local airports. Great choice. Oh, I know. Again, that's so great. With Thompson, it's it's really easy to find an airport for you near your home. And another good reason to book with Planet Cruise, because these are the kind of things. Ring us on the free phone number so you can talk to your heart's content and get all these things sorted out. So it's perfect for you. And by the way, date-wise, we have three dates to choose from on this one. And actually, the price doesn't vary too much at all, does no, it? No, not really at all. Doesn't. Lovely time of year to go away. You're going to be getting those beautiful spring temperatures that you get in that part of Europe. It's just a lovely cruise. Great destinations as well. <sighs> I told you it was a good, we told you it was a good show, didn't we? <laughs> Yeah, it really doesn't get better. I was than on this. my way here today, and I thought, oh, it's a little bit lighter, and that was about sort of four fifteen. It's pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> you see all that sunshine, it makes you feel so happy. I tell you what, honestly, just booking a cruise tonight, you, yeah, you'll feel so much better for this year.